Alright, all right, so let's tackle shelf number two. First off, over here we have Cross by Garth Ennis. Um, going into it, I heard a lot about how it was really brutal and unnecessarily violent. But upon reading it, I realized that there's a lot of good, like, human qualities to it as well. Just like the whole survival and banding together aspect. So if you're worried about the violence, I'd kind of just, like, go past that and just jump into the book. Um, next up I have a few Daredevil books. Uh, here's Daredevil Volume 1 hardcover. I had picked up Daredevil for the first time when Mark R Wade started writing for it, and I fell in love with it really fast, so I just wanted more Daredevil stories that I could read, um, just things to jump into to get interested in the character. Here's a dark crime a book about Daredevil. It's pretty small, quick read. And we have Daredevil Yellow. Um, I never really read too much of Marvel. I wasn't really interested. But ever since uh, Mark Wade, I've been like really into Daredevil specifically and some other Marvel characters that don't show up all that often. Next to that we have Day of Vengeance by Bill William. Uh, I bought this book from a bargain bin after um, wanting to read some of his other stories that weren't fables. I just always really loved fables a lot, so I was really interested in the types of stories that he could tell for other titles. Um, after that, we have Dead She Said by Steve Niles. Um, it's a nice hardcover. I haven't read this one. Um, it looks to be pretty good, though. A really cool collection. Then we have Eduardo Riso's Tales of Terror. His art style uh, really suits like horror stories. He's got a, some really good illustrations in here. The stories themselves, they're not like too creepy or anything like that, but um, it's really nice to look at. And then Elephant Man. Now these trades are amazing. They're thick. They're like wonderfully put together. The paper quality is awesome. The art is amazing. The story is like really deep and intricate. It's really good. I think there's about five paperbacks out right now and I really need to catch up. Um, and here's another Elephant Men story, War Toys, which I have not read yet. Next to that... Jeff Lemire. Oh, how I love Jeff Lemire. Um, this is his Essex County collection. It's the first book I picked up after I started my new job. I got it really cheap. It was just two bucks. Um, this is a really great collection. It collects, his, it collects all three of the Essex County books. Um, oh, it's just so good. <laughs> Next to that, we have first two um, Brian K. Vaughn Ex Machina hardcovers. The story is really cool. It's the first book I ever checked out from the library. Um, I just fell in love with the art and the story is like really intricate and awesome. I've heard a lot of people say about how it's dated and not that great now, but um, I still think it's worth reading. Uh, I haven't read the second one yet, but I'm going to um, hopefully pretty soon. Then we have Exterminators. It's kind of funny because I read like the first 20 something issues of this so fast but I have never completed like the last couple. Um, this is just the first trade. Uh, the art's mostly done by Tony Moore but of course like his usual stuff it switches off between a couple artists. But it's a really crazy story. It's got like all these weird supernatural elephant, uh, <laughs> elephants elements and uh, of course it has to do with bugs. The art is like grotesque and awesome. Then we have Fables, book one, deluxe hardcover edition. Um, like I said a minute ago, Fables is one of my favorite stories. It's really good. Um, the art and the story go perfectly together. Um, it's like real life Fables. Um, I need to get the rest of the hardcovers. There aren't too many out yet. Uh, they, they've been coming out rather slowly, which is sad, but gives me time to catch up, I guess. And here is Fables 1001 Nights of Snowfall. It's a nice story. has some cool illustrations along with it. Um, then, first two trades of Fear Agent. If you like science fiction and you like humor, you should definitely read this book. Um, the art's great. Tony Moore does it more or less <laughs> again. And uh, Rick Remender is just really good at telling this story. Um, definitely put it on your buy pile. 
Next is Brian Azzarello's uh, Filthy Rich. This is cool little hardcover edition from Vertigo. I had passed it up a few times and I have no idea why. Um, I finally got it and I was very happy that I had. It's a very cool crime story. After that we have Final Crisis, which I have not read. Um, I hadn't really read too many superhero stories. I wasn't really interested in them. And this is one of the ones I got, I picked up to kind of I guess wean myself onto them, um, but I have not read it. Go figure. <laughs> After that, there is Flash Rebirth. Um, I really like Flash a lot. This is a cool introductory to um, Barry Allen coming back as the Flash. Um, Jeff Johns did a really good job on this story. Then there's a short story collection, uh, Fractured Fables, if you want to just laugh at a book. Uh, this is a pretty good one. It's got a bunch of funny fables written by various artists, uh, well, writers, <laughs> and drawn by various artists. And it's just a really good humorous book. And then there is Futurama Adventures. If you like the show, you will like the comics. They are very funny. Um, they just go along perfectly with the show. It's just good stuff to read. Then next to that, there is Gangland, which I have not read. I've heard nothing but good stuff about it, really. Um... So I had to pick it up when I saw it. And then we've got Warren Ellis's Global Frequency. Um, it's it's a pretty good story, and there's a load of awesome artists attached to it, Libra Mayo being one of my favorites. It's just like every issue is very beautiful, um, and it's just perfect. Then we've got first two Goon trade paperbacks. Goon is just so awesome. Um, it's funny. It's creepy uh the art and story just get so much better as time goes on and if they ever finish the movie about it i will probably poop my pants then gotham central another one of my absolute favorites unfortunately i only have two volumes right now but it's really good it reads like an episode of law and order but it's just gotham police force how they handle you know criminals in the shadow of batman um there's it's really good, and sadly, I don't think enough people have read it. That really needs to be amended. Then there's Geek Street, which I always wanted to read. I finally got it in at work. I bought it, and I have not read it. Sad story. Then there's all of this Green Lantern, which isn't mine, but it's part of my collection. Um, I have not really read any of them. I read Secret Origin, but it's just so uh, daunting to just jump into it. There's just so much here. And I feel like I would really like it if I just took the time to sit down, but alas, I have yet to do that. And there's Grifter and Midnighter, which I haven't read, but I like Midnighter a lot as a character. Um, Hard Time, 50 to Life. The tagline really got me. Uh, it says it meet, it's like Oz meets my so-called life, which I had just finished watching Oz right before I saw this book. So I, of course, had to get it. Uh, then there's Haunt, which I wasn't really that into... Um, I don't know, I just was expecting to like it more, but I didn't so much, so I just had the first volume. And here is volume one of Hellboy, it's this really awesome cloth bound hardcover edition. Um, I would definitely suggest checking it out, it's worth the money. Here's History of the DC Universe, it's pretty self explanatory, it has a wonderful cover. We've got a book by Gilbert Hernandez. I got it as an introductory to his work, and I still haven't read it. I've read some of his other stuff, but not this one. Identity Crisis. Haven't read it. Um, heard great things about it. I'm sure I'll love it once I do read it. Hawaiian Dick is an awesome image book. Uh, this collection's pretty cool. It has a lot of good extras in it. Uh, I would definitely recommend it. It's a cool, like, kind of crime story. Then there's the Ink Hall. Um awesome science fiction story. It's way out there. It's illustrated by Mobius, so you have to pick it up. Here's two volumes of Incognito. Um, Ed Brubaker, Sean Phillips, awesome team. There's no reason not to read these. Infinite Kung Fu. Oh, just look for the trailer for it on YouTube. It's awesome. It's Kung Fu meets Western, meets magic, meets everything. Then we have three of the Invincible hardcovers. I did not like superheroes until I read Invincible. It'll make you laugh, it'll make you cry, it'll make you squeamish. Just read it. It's currently my favorite running title. Alright, so that's shelf two.